Hey guys, it's Nia. Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? Good morning. So um, today we're going to be doing just a little get ready with me. Uh, I'm going to be telling you guys about what I plan to do with this channel, what I hope to accomplish, what I want to share with you, what you're going to be able to come here to learn and see. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to do a little bit of makeup. Well, as you can see, it's already done, but I'm going to show you all how I got this. Um, but we're going to do some makeup, we're going to do some hair, and we're going to get dressed, and we're going to talk a little bit. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep watching. Also, yes, this is my first video. Um, yes, I would love for you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because we're going to be going on a wonderful and beautiful and fun journey together. So keep up to date, y'all. Keep up to date. So I have already cleaned and prepped my skin and all of that. It's moisturized. We're ready to go. So I'm not going to talk too much about like the products and stuff that I'm using because makeup is not my specialty. I'm going to tell you that right now. I can do enough to get by. Um, but if that's something you guys want to know, like if you like the end result, I will happily share the things that I am using. Just leave that in the comment below and um, I'll do that for you. Not only will I do it for you. I Yes, yes, I'll do it for you. So why do, did I want to start this channel? First of all, I've wanted to start a YouTube channel for a while and just, I guess, have not been willing up until this point to step out of my comfort zone. We're here. What is going on? Number one, we're in the middle of a pandemic, right? So I have a lot of free time on my hands. Um, number two, I'm using this time to improve the parts of myself that I'm maybe not as happy with or the things that I know I can grow in and the areas of myself that can improve. So I thought I'd share that journey and just, you know, we all, not we're all, but a lot of us are in our 20s and we in the 20s, something won't kill me, kill me weird. Really trying to like, figure a lot of stuff out so I thought maybe by sharing what I'm going through and what I'm looking to like really work on at this stage of my life I can share it and maybe help somebody else who's trying to do the same thing so what I'm going to be doing is I guess self-help type channel um I mean not self-help I'm sorry <laughs> Freudian slip though? A self-care channel. So the things that I'm doing during this time especially, but things that I will continue to do and things I really should have been doing all along that make me feel like my best self and just make me feel like I can go out, conquer my 20s, conquer the things that, you know, we're, we all are trying to figure out at this age what that looks like for me and just really figure it out together and that's really awesome why I'm doing this because I figure not only can I help y'all but y'all can probably help me right so that's the goal I have my fan right here I get so hot y'all like you don't even understand like and everybody be like you're too young for hot flashes but I'm like I'm having them they're real so how do you explain that <laughs> could somebody please make it make sense So some of the things you guys will, I guess, experience with me in a way is, number one, I love doing my makeup. Like I said, I'm not the best at it. I'm not an expert, but it makes me happy. It's calming to me. Um, so that will definitely be something that you see me doing a lot of on here, because it's just, it's a form of therapy for me. So you will see me doing my makeup. You will for sure see me doing my hair because anybody who knows me knows that I have a different hairstyle probably every week. 
My hair right now is in a little sewing that I did. Um, I'm really gonna work on keeping it because this took a lot of work. But I'm also working out a lot right now, so anybody who you know has had a sew-in, you know about that leave out, okay? That leave out that you sweat out when you're working out, okay? So <laughs> that part is gonna be a little bit challenging. I haven't had one in years. I mean years. I always wear my natural hair, whether that be in braids or twists or I straighten it sometimes, but for the most part, I wear my hair curly or my natural hair. But I just needed a little change up. So I'm gonna try to stick with this one for at least a few weeks, at least. If I can go longer, that'd be great, but I don't I don't see it going that way. Uh, what else? You will see me cooking. I love to cook. I love to cook all types of things. And that's another thing that makes me happy. And just if I'm stressed about something or if I'm feeling kind of worried or concerned, I go to the kitchen and the funny thing about it is I will cook, like I will cook up a whole meal, three, four course meal, and then not eat anything. My boyfriend's always like, Would you why'd you just make all this food? I'm like, I don't know, I just felt like cooking. Do you wanna eat it or not? Yes or no. Yes. <laughs> so you will definitely see me cooking. And then most importantly, well not most importantly, but the biggest thing that I feel is so important to establish right now, like as you're figuring a bunch of stuff out and trying to move into these new phases of your life, is a spiritual practice. So I grew up in a spiritual house, if you will. Maybe not quite as, you know, maybe not as religious, but um, very spiritual. As I move into adulthood and that area, really this area of my life where I feel like I should be grown but don't really feel grown <laughs> I need to start establishing some things that you know I know that I will always wow. as I start moving into this time in my life where I'm trying to build and set up a lot of things um, you need something that's constant and like your spirituality whatever you believe in that has to be something that is solid for you so as I get older and as I work to, you know, grow into the human that I want to be, it's very important to me to start solidifying that practice. So you guys will be coming along on that journey with me as well. I've been meditating already, like meditating a lot. And it's hard. It is so hard, I'm not even joking. Like, So you're like, let me just sit down and be quiet for 10 minutes, but no, your brain is doing 150 other things. So what I got to help me, to help me out a little bit, is a little singing bowl. I'll show you guys in a second, but. So this is my little bowl, my little singing bowl. The inside. And this is how it sounds when you play it. I love it. The singing bowl just helps me like pull my focus back in when I start to think of, you know, when Beyonce's next album is coming out or what I'm gonna eat later or what I need to buy from Sephora, you know, like it pulls my focus back in and that's why I love it. But it also sounds, it's just so beautiful. I could listen to it all day. I got the idea from Jeanette. Jeanette, I was watching like a, uh, why'd I say her first name like we're friends? Cause we are though. In my head, we're, we're besties. That's fine. Jeanette, we're gonna go have tea one day. But I got the idea from Jeanette Aiko. Um, she did like one of those specials with Vogue and um, just went in and started, you know, was talking about like her daily routine what it looks like for her when she's in the process of making an album and stuff like that. And she uses her singing bowls. And actually in this latest album, 
she talks about how she used a lot of singing bowls all throughout because their frequency, like the sound that they make is healing and you're so you're being healed while you listen to her album without even knowing. She of course has the crystal ones. I have to work my way up to the crystal ones because those are a little bit hot. My bank account ain't ready for love. But I got a little brass one and it's really cute. And like I said, it just helps me like pull my focus back in and um see what I tell you guys. What I tell you wasn't. I'm always messing something up. I mess up so many times while I'm doing my makeup and then just have to figure out how to go back in and like fix what I've done. Spiritual practice, meditation, we'll be doing all of that together. Working out, I've, I'm doing it a lot more. I'm doing it a lot, um, but I don't think we'll see as much of that because I'm not really trying to make this a workout channel. So, might see some of that, might not. This heat is not cute. And my room is like the hottest in the house and I'm the hottest person in the house so it's really not a great combination. So like I said, this is definitely one of my favorite ways to just show myself a little bit of love. Not only is doing it therapeutic, but then when it's done, you feel so good about yourself. And that's the beginning of self-care. Anything that makes you feel good, makes you feel happy, do it and do a lot of it. So yeah, so working out, probably doing some of that on here. Maybe not as much working out as showing you the results that I have achieved from the workouts that I've been doing. I think that's a better way to go about it. That's a great idea. But yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything that you will see. I mean, like I said, I'm just going to be doing things that make me feel good. And in doing that, hopefully share something, share some, you know, some techniques and tactics to feeling good with somebody else, somebody who might need it. And in turn, you guys can share things with me as well. So, even though I said I'm not going into too much detail on my makeup, I just finished my eyebrows. I then concealed my eyebrows and like cleaned them up a little bit. Then I spread the concealer down onto my lid because that's what's gonna make your eyeshadow hold a little bit better. I'm not a huge fan of primer on my lid. I did put a little bit of primer all over my face um, along with some setting finishing powder, whatever you call it, right over the primer because I, that goes under my foundation. My skin tends to, you know, veer to the oily side. And I already told you, I get very hot. I get sweaty. Um, it's not cute, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to make the makeup last once you finish it because there's nothing more frustrating than doing a full face and then it's just coming right off. I do my primer, my setting powder, brows, concealer, then I go straight into my eye. Now as far as eye makeup, that is where I struggle the most, I'd say. Um, I keep my lashes done for the most part, so that's what helps me get away with not even doing eyeshadow half the time. Because I really don't be in the mood. Because <laughs> I'll have a vision of how it's supposed to go and how I think it's gonna go, and then my brush will just be like, nah, what, what did you think was gonna happen? Mm -mm. That's not what we're doing today. So, yeah, but I'm trying out, because I got a new palette. So um, I'm just trying out some of these colors. Some of the colors are really pretty. The other thing, other mistake I know for sure that I make, I have like pretty much one eyeshadow brush that I use. I just, it's too much. When I start getting multiple brushes for, for the same thing, I get very stressed out. So I know that that's part of my problem and why like my blending a lot of the times doesn't come out because I'm using the same brush to do all of it and like I'll clean it off a little bit but I'm not I'm not doing you know I'm not doing the most to like clean my brush I don't know why I chose to go with like a red because definitely wearing a light blue romper today 
but it's kind of natural like it's a natural color so i think that's enough that that really might even be too much but we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and finish my face and then if i feel like i need to tone it down a little and i can go back and do that i almost like it but again it's just more eye makeup than I'm comfortable with. Okay, so now I'm gonna just go ahead and start with my um, with my foundation. I use NARS, I love it. At first I wasn't like, I won't say I was anti-NARS, but I was just anti-foundation that I felt what was gonna be heavier um, because I definitely, do not like for my makeup to look like too much. Like I love to have the natural look going on. Um, so I was super hesitant to try NARS out because I was like, uh uh, that's gonna make me look like I have on hella makeup and that's what that's what I'm not about. And then it's like if people get used to seeing you with a bunch of makeup on, I don't know, this is just always how I felt about it. If people get used to seeing you with a bunch of makeup on, then I feel I put the pressure on myself to maintain that. And that's not how I'm built. I don't do, you know, like full face every day. Like I said, at best, you you will you will not catch me without lashes. I love my lashes, but um, other than that, it's pretty much just gonna be some gloss, maybe a little little bronzer, a little highlighter. This brush, by the way, the bomb. I don't know what number it is. I don't know where I found it. I think I got it at TJ Maxx. So I have no clue what the brand is. I'm sorry. Sorry to this man. I know it's one of those brushes that's meant for like stiffling your makeup. Like when you go and da 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 I don't have time to do that all over my whole face. I just rub it on and it goes on very smoothly. Um, yeah, so, oh. Let's see, I just poke my eye out. You'll shoot your eye out! That's <laughs> from the Christmas story. You'll shoot your eye out? And I take just a little bit more foundation literally a dot on my hand. I put my beauty blender in it and then I just get up under my eyes really good. Because when you have lashes in like that, you really don't want to test it getting super close with a big brush where you don't have the control under your eye anymore. Then we are going to go in and conceal. I like Girl Pro Conceal. It's a good one, it gives you like pretty good coverage and like brightening underneath without it feeling too heavy. I can't stand a concealer that feels heavy. Like that is one of my least favorite things. I just conceal like, and this is really more to like shape your face. I do a light contour. I'm not super, super into the contouring. That's too much. It's fine, I'm gonna make it work. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like a natural one is all that I like, all that I need. Can I get my neck? That is not cute. Get your neck, ladies, don't forget it. I usually like to just go in with whatever's left over on the brush with my neck because if I try to go in with like a full, like dip in the brush in and put it on my neck, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, then we're just gonna blend. I took the same beauty blender and just I'm gonna blend out my concealer. I like to take it like all the way up because that's what makes your eyes look a little bit more just defined. It's also weird because I can't for some reason. I can't look at myself in the mirror while I'm doing anything to my eyes. Like I have to look off and up to the right. Right, left. Yeah, right. Oops. Okay, so now my concealer's on, my foundation is on. Um, now I'm gonna go in with this Whatever the baking powder, not the kind you put in cookies. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, oh, is it open? Five hours later. 
I mean, they don't want you to get into, do you want me to use it, Revolution? Do you want me to use the powder or not? Because you're making this so, there we go. There we go. So all I do with this is I take a little bit into the cap. I'm, I literally just tap it in. And then I'm gonna go in with my big fluffy brush. Get it all over that really well and then I do that so I don't you know how you see some people they put a bunch of powder on it or whatever and then they let it sit and then they tap the excess off or or brush the excess off I can't do that I find when I do that it just it just gives me like a I don't know I don't know how to describe it I'm not good maybe I haven't mastered the baking technique yet uh, the other reason it's super important for me to do this I have those little like wrinkles under my eyes like just very fine and um if I don't set it well then it will cake it will cake underneath my eyes and there's nothing that I hate more than that seriously and then take a little bit more and then just go in right here so basically anywhere that I put the concealer Step right underneath my eyes. I feel like I should soften my eye a little bit. But that's the good thing. You are able to tell all that stuff after you get the full look together. Tell what you need to soften and go back in and adjust. What's next? What did I do already? Oh. Next I'm gonna go in with my um I told you I do like a little light contour, so I'm going with my the Fenty, whatever the Fenty stick that you use on your face, okay? And I literally just go like that. I go down. And then I do a little bit under here. And then a little bit under there. I don't do it around my forehead. I don't know why it's just not like my favorite thing. Um, so I'm taking a different beauty blender. Yes, they're the same color, but I use them for different things. So my camera wanted to be difficult. So I'm just blending my contour out now. I feel like this is like a little yellow. It's also the light though. So I just took a little bit of that baking powder on my finger and just literally rubbed it under my eye. I look so, I know I look so crazy doing that, I have to. <laughs> Another thing that I don't do, this is just preference and from experience, I don't use a setting spray. So I know this will be the time when you go ch -ch 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 -ch, you know? But um, I don't like it, it does not work for my skin. Maybe I haven't found the right one, but I just, I prefer not to use it. So, but I did do the primer underneath. I did the setting powder underneath my foundation and then I don't put any more on top. I just do the baking powder uh, wherever I put the, the concealer. This foundation is really good at, um, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, <laughs> this foundation does a really good job of kind of balancing. If you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, if you have dry skin, it hydrates you. So I've heard I don't have dry skin, but if you have dry skin, it hydrates you as long as you use the right products with it. And if you have oily skin, um, it will keep you mostly matte. It can start to look a little dewy, like I noticed towards the end of the day, especially I don't carry blotting papers with me or anything like that. So, um, you know, like as the day goes on, it can start looking a little bit dewy, but I personally like that dewy look. I think it's a, it gives it more of a natural look. I don't like the super, super matte look. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan. I like it a lot. Lastly, I'm going to, I think I want to lighten up my eyes a little bit, actually. So not lastly, I'm going to lighten up my eye. Um, yes, I'm going in with the same brush. I'm just going to put like a little bit of a lighter color right here. Like where the, because I like the brown in the corner there, but I don't like it along the top. So I'm going to go in with like a pretty blushed color. All my brown skin girls out there, don't be afraid to use those light colors on your eye. They're really good blending colors. And um, they also, like what I'm doing right now, they soften up any like harsh lines or um, harsh transitions that, that you may have 
created on your eye that you now want to soften or make disappear. <laughs> and then I'm going back in with just a little bit more of the sparkly one that I put on my lid because now that that line is softened, I feel like I can have more color. It's so ghetto, y'all. I really will just take my eyeshadow brush and clean it on my thigh. Like that's what I do. The other thing that I will say, I love a soft color eyeshadow look. So I, you know, you see a lot of people like putting a bunch of concealer and then doing the, um, like packing the color on. I just prefer a little bit of color on my lid to kind of frame it. Um, so if that's something you guys want to see, I can do it, but I, I don't. It's not my favorite thing to do on my face. Fun fact, I used to work at a makeup store, actually. I worked at Bare Minerals for like two years, but their whole strategy to doing makeup is super natural. So, super natural look, like a very natural everyday makeup, no makeup type makeup look. So that's the type of makeup that I was trained to do. So, figuring out how to do the more dramatic looks and everything, I kind of had to figure out on my own and I'm still figuring out on my own. Um, but yeah, so you'll see a lot of like the eyeshadows and things that I'll do will be more, much more natural and just about adding a little bit of color. Cause that is what I prefer. Oh, I need some more on this other one. Ow. How did I poke myself in the eye with it closed? That's confusing. Okay, so lastly for my face, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. The one I'm using today, highlighter is my favorite. It is my favorite makeup item. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, the one I'm using right now is the Sandcastle. Sandcastle by Fenty in the, little, the duos that they do. I will even like take eyeshadows sometimes and make them a highlighter like that's how I like for it to be like pretty much the most dramatic thing on my face. I like I love it when my lips pop as well but not in a dramatic way like just uh, they're there you see them they're shining they're popping but there's not a bunch of color on them so most dramatic thing on my face is for sure going to be my highlighter and then I'm gonna go in with my lip so for my lip you will never not see me wearing a brown liner. I'm always gonna, even if I'm doing clear gloss, I'm always gonna have my brown liner on. I start on the corners. Oh, you guys can't even see me. I started doing this because when I would do my face, I would get so much foundation on my top lip and I would like try to wipe it off, but it just, it just wasn't doing it for me. So I was like, let me find what I can cover this up with. Enter brown liner and it has never left the chat, okay? Ever, because I obsessed from the very first time that I used it. So once I do that, then I go and I put just a little, a little dot right there. Right there. I did my entire cupid's bow, I did the entire top lip, and then on the bottom I just do my corners and then that center right there. And then I'll go back into the corners and just do, um, like fill them in almost completely on the corner. I hate that lipstick face, it's so ugly to me. But you gotta do it. You gotta do it for it to look right. Okay, and then, because I'm gonna use um, one of the one of the Kylie lip colors today, I'm gonna go in with another liner and I'm just gonna go right uh, inside of the dark liner. And then right here in the center. Doesn't have to be neat. Cause you're literally just gonna rub everything together anyway <laughs> it looks crazy right now so then i'm going in with um it's a clear gloss it's my go-to clear gloss and i'm gonna rub that all over and now we're gonna do a tiny bit of, um, so the Kylie color that I was using was basic, so, but I'm not basic, honey. For this from it. But uh, I have the clear gloss and the brown liner that you can see, and then I'm just gonna go in to back to the center where I put the lip liner and apply the color to the center as well, on top of the clear gloss. And then, just kinda look at it. That's too much color. 
I did too much. I literally should have did a dot. That stuff is so. Oh, ho, brother. Ho, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, you got too much dip on your chip. It's so strong. I forget how potent it is. How little of it you need. If you're going for the full lip color, though, it's, it's, a, it's bomb. But I just, I literally like just a dot of color. So we're going to try that again. <laughs> I just have to wipe off my liner and everything. And no, I don't overline. I don't have to overline because it'll start looking real, real dramatic up in there if I overline. I'm sorry, I keep getting down if you guys can't see me. <laughs> I do the most of my clear gloss. I just dipped it like three times. We're gonna try that again and we're going to literally do a dot at the bottom. It's almost like it pulls, it pulls it forward or pulls, um, it's gonna be like that pouty look in a way because the color is only in the center. That's my favorite. And then I just go in with a little bit more brown. I'm about to do my hair. I probably should have waited to do the gloss till after, but it's fine. So now we're gonna get into the hair. Wow. Oh my god! Oh my god! So really I just want you guys to see the before. Because I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera because it is probably gonna be but yeah, I'll come back when my hair is all finished. I'm actually going to throw my clothes on as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just get dressed, get my um, hair finished, and then I'll be right back. All right. So this is my final look. I guess I should just stand up so you guys can see my feet. You can't see the whole thing, but it's fun. Just a little romper. But so that concludes the get ready with me I guess I mean I'm pleased and you know what the cool thing about it you guys will see me get better you will see me mess up a bunch more I'm sure but um yeah so this is this is the look we're going with today so thank you guys again for watching thank you for tuning in to this first video my first video ever I did it I'm excited I'm actually really excited I'm one of those people that like I'll tell you I'm excited and it might not appear that I'm excited, but I am. I'm just, I get really calm when I'm excited. I don't know why, but I'm very excited that I finally did it. I finally stepped out of my comfort zone. Um, so yeah, more to come. Thanks for watching.